Chapter 14, question or exercise 13 asks you to give the common names for some amines. Remember that an amine is a compound that has a nitrogen with three simple bonds, and you could have a carbon coming off of that, or a carbon chain. And so here we have that amine right here, this nitrogen with three single bonds to stuff. And so that is uh, our backbone when you name amines. Amines have an odd way of being named. There's a common name way of naming these, and the way to name them is to take the nitrogen atom all by itself and consider it the backbone. The backbone name for the nitrogen is always amine. Any carbon chains attached to the nitrogen will be named as branches. So for example, to the right of the nitrogen, we have a carbon chain. There are two carbons on it, so the prefix for two carbons is F. And because it's a carbon chain that's branching off of our one atom backbone, it'll have the suffix YL. We don't have to give a number to say where the branch attaches to the backbone, because our backbone is only one atom, so there's no confusion about where it could be attached. Similarly, if you look to the left, we have a branch that only has one carbon. The prefix for having only one carbon is meth, and because with amines, the carbon chains are always branches off of the backbone nitrogen, after that prefix comes YL. So we have these two branches, methyl and ethyl. We know that we have to put them in front of the backbone name, but what order do they go in? You alphabetize them. And because E comes before M, the name for this compound would be ethyl methyl amine. So this whole compound is ethyl methyl amine. Let's try to name this one. You know instantly, looking at this molecule, that you have an amine because you have a nitrogen with all single bonds. And they're asking for the common name. The common name for amines takes the nitrogen itself as the backbone. That single atom is the backbone, and the name for that backbone is amine, always. Any carbon chain coming off of it is a branch. So this carbon here to the left, the carbon chain, has one, two, three, four carbons, so the prefix for it will be but. And because we're naming it as a branch, immediately after that but will come yl. So the name for this will just be, take that branch name, put it in front of the backbone name, it'll be butyl amine. Let's try to do this one. You see a nitrogen with all single bonds, and you think to yourself, oh my gosh, this is an amine. So let's give it the common name for it. When you give the common names for amines, the nitrogen atom all by itself is the backbone, and the name for that backbone is always amine. Any carbons attached to the nitrogen will be named as branches. The carbon chain to the right has two carbons in it, and so the prefix for that will be F. And because you always name carbon chains as branches for amines, immediately after that comes a YL. The carbon chain above the nitrogen has two carbons in it, and so the prefix for that branch is F. And because carbon chains coming off of amines are always branches, immediately after the F will come YL. The carbon chain to the left of the nitrogen has two carbons in it. The prefix for two carbons is F, and in the case of amines, carbon chains are named as branches when you give the common names for amines. So after that prefix comes YL. So here we have three branches that are all the same type of branch. They're all ethyl branches. So we can sort of smoosh them together. If we have to say a, give a prefix to say how many we're smushing together, we're smushing together three, and so it's tri. And the type of branch is ethyl branches. So triethylamine would be the name for this.
compound triethylamine.